Hi again, Betsy Muller, trainer of emotional freedom techniques. And it occurred to me that there's a, something else I can teach you today to help you take get a better care of yourself. And this has to do with your breath. And it's something we teach when we demonstrate and teach emotional freedom techniques, also known as tapping, to people that are new to the process. It's something called the constricted breathing technique. Why is this relevant today? I was just watching a YouTube video by a gentleman uh, named David Abel, who was one of the earlier um, victims of the coronavirus in Japan. He was on that cruise ship and he went through some pretty harrowing times. Um, what's interesting at about 21 minutes into this video, he talks about doing breathing exercises and using tapping. Turns out David is one of the former board members of the EFT organization, and uh, he vaguely talks about it. He doesn't tap in the video, but I want to show you what he's referring to. This is a very easy exercise, so anybody can do it. And, you know, taking care of our lungs now when we're healthy is very important. It's also a way to check in and help you breathe better should you have a minor case of the virus or heaven forbid if you get something more serious it helps you tune into your body so you know when to get help maybe beyond taking care of things at home so that's why i want to show it to you today so you can start tuning in to your breathing process and really getting a sense of how to rate it how to scale it okay so here's what we do first you begin by taking a couple full deep belly breaths so really fill up your lungs because we want to stretch them out a little bit. So when we test them, we've already used them a little bit. Take a couple more deep breaths. And with that last breath, take as much in as you can. And hold and let it out. And on a scale of zero to 10, just measure how full do you think you were able to get your lungs. You might have to take another deep breath to check in on that. 10 would be 100% capacity. You know, anything less might feel like you have some tightness in your chest. And of course, doing a video like this makes me a little anxious. So maybe I'm not as, as high as I could be. I would say maybe I'm around an eight and a half. I'm pretty good. So got your number. Now we're going to do a round of tapping with a focus on the breathing. And so we'll use very simple words. You can repeat with me. Even though I have this constricted breathing and I'm not at 100%, I deeply and completely accept where I'm at and my body. Even though I have this constricted breathing. I deeply and completely accept myself and my body. Even though my breathing is constricted, I deeply and completely love and accept myself and my body. And now we do a round of tapping. If your hands are clean, if they're not, sanitize. <laughs> Top of the head, constricted breathing. Constricted breathing. I think I'll do one-handed so you can see. Constricted breathing. You can breathe as you do this. Under the eye. Constricted breathing. Constricted breathing. Constricted breathing. I'm feeling a little more relaxed all of a sudden. Constricted breathing. Constricted breathing. And let's tap the thymus while we're at it. And nice deep breath. Check in on that breath, that full deep breath you just took. Are you noticing any difference? Give that a number. I think I'm feeling fuller now. I'm not up to 100, so I'm going to do another round. So this is an example of how you can continue to get more oxygen into you, which is good for you, and also just the, the breath is a gateway to peace. And so we might as well train ourselves to use it a little more. 
So how do we how would we keep going? We do another round of tapping, even though there's some remaining constricted breathing. I love and accept myself, even though I have this remaining constricted breathing. I deeply and completely accept myself, even though I have some remaining constricted breathing. I love and accept myself and my body. And then we go through it again. Deep breath in. Constricted breathing. Constricted breathing. Remaining 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 constricted breathing. Take a nice deep breath now. Oh, I'm doing a lot more. I can feel more, more oxygen in my chest. So I hope you're feeling it too. This is a great exercise we should all be doing every day anyway. So this is a good wake up in the morning. But you know what? You are getting to your emotional issues as well. It's the emotions oftentimes that keep us from taking those full breaths. So allow yourself to breathe. Notice the difference. Really get in touch with your body now more than ever so that you can notice the subtle changes and take care of yourself. I wish you the very best, and I'll keep giving you more tips as they come to mind. Bye.